Wake up and smell the flowers. Hey guys, it's Daisy. I am so glad that you are here today. I'm also very excited to be here today because this is going to be one of my favorite videos I think I've ever filmed. Today I'm talking about my five top tips for being an RA. And these are kind of all over the place random tips, but these are my top five things. If you're going to be an RA, things you need to know. First off, really quick, if you don't know what an RA is, it's basically someone who lives in a dorm or residence with students on a campus, college or university campus, and they're there to support them, they do events and things like that. So if you are going to be an RA or you're already an RA, I hope that these tips help you and I'm super excited because this is my favorite job I've ever had in the world. So let's get into my five top tips for being an RA. So my number one first tip is to get crafty with everything you do as an RA. So you'll most likely have a budget of some kind to spend on your students. And I like to use that for items, products, things I can do to make things for my students. So instead of just printing things out like little standard tip packages or buying little pre-made gift bags for your students from the store. I like to buy things and make little crafts for them. For example, something I did was made bracelets for my students. I like to make my holiday decorations and put things up. And I know that that's a little bit of extra time, but honestly, it's so worth it because having homemade things for your students makes them feel like they're seen. There's somebody that's making something for them and they're like, hey, I know that you're here. You're doing great. Good job. I see you. I think that that's really helpful, first of all, for mental health and things but also having homemade decorations around your floor or your building can be super helpful to make students feel more at home especially because dorms as some of us know they can get a little bit prisony and a little bit cold especially older buildings um, so it can be really helpful to have kind of some unique and fun things things you've made yourself um, that seem more specific and more unique to your building or your floor and students can really enjoy that to feel a little bit warmer feel a little bit more at home an example of this is your door decorations. I know a lot of people just like to do little pieces of paper or they print something out, but it can be helpful to make a homemade door decoration that's a little bit more unique and it feels a little bit more homey. For example, this year I did a bubble tea theme for my building and I did these little bubble tea cups. So they have these sparkly little straws and then the little white part is where you can add the names and then obviously little tapioca balls at the bottom. So making something homemade like that can be super fun and cute and your students can really enjoy kind of feeling that homey feeling. The second tip that I have is to have a playlist ready for events. Having a playlist ready of easy music to just play and you know you won't have to skip through it or anything is really helpful for events because music can help calm people down and make an awkward situation a little less awkward. RA events or dorm events can often be kind of awkward especially at the beginning of the semester when people don't really know each other yet and they're trying to make relationships and friendships but they're kind of just learning what it's like to come into college or university. So having a playlist to kind of make the vibes a little more relaxed can be super helpful. I suggest kind of more calm, poppy playlists are usually a good to go. Um, Cause we love Megan the Stallion, but maybe blasting Megan in the middle of like a games night isn't the vibe for like a comfortable situation. So try to make a specific playlist of nice, calm, chill music that people will know and it'll help kind of create that vibe and have it ready. And then you can throw it on a speaker and play it at any of your events. My third tip is setting boundaries with your time with your students. This one's a little bit more on a serious note, but I struggled with this when I first became an RA because I wanted my students to know that I was there for them. So anytime that they would come to my door, I would let them come and hang out no matter what I was doing. But it, sometimes it was hard because I'd be trying to work or trying to clean and I would let them come anyway. So my biggest tip is to kind of set those boundaries with your students. If you're doing work and a student comes by, say, hey, I'll actually be free in an hour. Are you good to wait till then? And we can chat then. And they're like, yeah, I'm Absolutely. Obviously, if they're having a crisis or there's a safety issue, you should definitely deal with it right then. But there's no problem and ask your students, hey, I'm actually doing something right now. How about we chat in an hour, in two hours? And it's good to do that because you, you want your students to know that you're available, but being overly available will just end up backfiring on you. So just make sure you set those boundaries with your time. Number four is to lean on other RAs for help, encouragement, and support in your job. These people are the only people who know exactly what you're going through in this job. So these people are sort of the only ones who know exactly what's going on, right? They know how the job works, they're in it with you. So those people are the most efficient and good resources to help you with that encouragement, the specific kind that you need, or support with student situations or personal situations. They know what's going on, they know how to help you, and it's really good when you become friends with your 
fellow RAs, you connect together. Sometimes you talk about work, sometimes you don't, but it's good to have that connection with those people and then you can encourage each other and help each other. And number five is always having a positive mindset towards everything. I like to call it the growth mindset, which is focusing on growing and learning and changing instead of just being stuck in negativity. And it can be really easy to get really negative, but keeping a positive attitude always, especially when you're around your other RAs, because you're representing your university and your support system for these students. So making sure that you're keeping positive, make sure that all of those things and the people around you are staying positive, and then you're all focusing on growth, learning, and change instead of being stuck in the negative and just kind of being stagnant there, especially when it's one of your students, right? Because we want to show them that we are there for them and we support them. So keeping that positive attitude around the people you work with and around your students is really, really crucial. And the last thing I want to say is if you're not already an RA, you are going to do so great. And if you are already an RA, I know that you're doing so great. And good luck in all of your future endeavors. I hope this video helped you guys. Even if you aren't an RA, I hope you had fun watching this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys had a fun time watching. I had such a fun time making it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.